We are five years in and we still exist. And to me, that's just a miracle of God in itself. We have seen so many churches in the last five years come and go all because of finances. It's a major thing within a church. And I can remember the first year before we had even moved actually and I'm walking around the neighborhood with my mom telling her that we're gonna go church plant. And she's like, Chris, what do you mean you're gonna church plant? Where, where's your financial security gonna come from? You have children. And I told her, you're right. We might be back here a year from now. We might be back in our same house and our same spot looking for work because I honestly don't know how we're gonna fund this thing. I don't know how this is gonna work. I remember calling down to uh, South Florida and talking to some different people within our denomination. And at first they had promised us, you know, the world. They said, uh, there's a kingdom enterprise zone. There's a bunch of money in this organization or in this section and uh, they want to plant churches. And don't you worry, you're gonna be fully funded. And six months later, after we were ready and packed saying, okay, what type of or how much money are you gonna give me? How many people are you gonna give me? And what strategy are you gonna give me? And the answer was just no, no, and no. And they came back and said, we have our leaders that we've raised up. You can't have any of them. You gotta find your own. Uh, all the money in the Kingdom Enterprise Zone has been spent and you need to fundraise at this point. And I hate asking for money. And they pretty much said, there's no strategy. Go figure it out. If, if something that God has really worked on my heart these last five years is learning how to fundraise and me preaching to myself, teaching myself to keep my mouth closed and to absolutely allow people to experience the blessing. Who am I to rob them of the blessing or the opportunity to invest in the kingdom? And that's something I've really had to learn myself. So now that we've been told, we, we've had all of our um, assessments done, they've told us we're ready to church plant, they're excited to have us on the team, they're ready to send us down to Florida, and they've told us we have no money, we have no leaders, we have no strategy, um, go ahead and do it, and good luck. We started, we started panicking as if God had not already showed us that he was going to take care of us, and your biggest fear for some reason was a printer for the church he said oh my goodness i don't think we're gonna have enough money to buy a printer for the church let alone church plant and we told Dwayne and cindy i told Dwayne and cindy that and then like the next day cindy had already ordered our first printer you know so i think god used that also to show us that he's got he's got her back during that time my dad was stage four cancer on his last couple months of life and we were moving him also to florida with us and part of the move is it's gonna cost us money to move down and now we were taking care of my dad we were taking on the financial um the financial stress of my mom and my dad on top of that and moving so we decided, actually, friends of my job decided, we're gonna help you guys out and we're just gonna do a garage sale out of your house. So people from my job started bringing stuff over all day long for like a couple weeks. We put on our garage sale and we started a Source Church bank account. And that's what got us moved down here. That's what got so, us. So the Source <laughs> Church was literally birthed out of a $300 garage sale. We had $300 of profit from that garage sale. That was the first money that went into the account. And then since then, I can remember the feelings of fear. Is good God going to is God really going to provide in all of this? And the amount of joy and as somebody sits across from you and passes over a $50,000 check. Unbelievable to think, oh my goodness, God, I feared and yet you show me over and over how you can move the mountains, how you've been faithful to us, and 
over and over again, God just continues to supply and grow our giving in abundance. We're, we're thinking of expanding five years in and um, we'll see what God has for the future.